Welcome to the Emory Proton Therapy Center. I'm Dr. Mark McDonald, a radiation oncologist and the medical director of the center. We're standing in the control room of the Proton Therapy Center. But let's go behind the scenes and step into the vault to see some of the equipment that we use to produce and deliver proton therapy. This is the state-of-the-art superconducting cyclotron. The cyclotron is a particle accelerator that uses electromagnetic fields to speed up proton particles in an outward spiraling path, producing the proton beam used for treatment. A proton is a positively charged particle found in the nucleus or center of atoms. As a superconducting cyclotron, it's cooled with liquid helium to about four degrees Kelvin, which is about negative 452 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows the cyclotron to be smaller and more efficient. Still, it weighs about 90 tons and is 10 feet in diameter. This cyclotron accelerates protons to nearly two-thirds the speed of light, giving them an energy of 245 MeV, which is enough energy for the protons to penetrate about 36 centimeters, or about 14 inches, into the body to reach any tumor location. The energy of the protons is then adjusted to match the needs of each patient's treatment using an energy selection system. The proton beam travels through a long vacuum tube almost 100 yards long. A series of magnets focus the beam and direct it to the five patient treatment rooms. Each patient treatment room is structured around this massive steel structure called a gantry. It weighs 240 tons and can rotate around the patient so that the proton beam can be angled with great accuracy directly to the tumor site. The proton beam exits the system through the scanning nozzle. The scanning nozzle controls the pencil beam of protons to enable us to deliver the correct dose of proton radiation therapy precisely to the shape of the tumor while minimizing or avoiding radiation to healthy tissues adjacent to the tumor. We're inside one of the five treatment rooms of the center. When construction is complete, patients will be positioned on a table here inside of the gantry. A robotic patient positioner system is used to precisely align the patient, while the gantry can rotate 360 degrees around the patient to direct the proton beam from the most appropriate angle towards the tumor. The gantry integrates sophisticated imaging to ensure that the patient is correctly aligned before treatment is delivered. I'm very excited to see the Emory Proton Therapy Center become fully operational later this year. Proton therapy will be a powerful resource when integrated into the clinical services, treatments, and clinical trials available through Winship Cancer Institute. While all of this technology is very impressive, it's the care of our patients and our desire to provide outstanding clinical care that is at the core of everything that we do.